Now, for the first time in this interview, I will say Anshul went into the fight with an injury. You know, it's like saying, you know, that yes, you are going for a wedding, but do you want to look smashing? Or do you want to look fine? Questions that I've had, I don't think the UFC are looking at India as a market for live shows just yet. So, Mesh, so we had a huge moment for Indian MMA uh, this past weekend with Anshul winning at Road to UFC. So, uh, before we get into the whole details of the stuff, so how did you feel when you saw Anshul getting that win on that platform? Uh, so, it was, uh, it was really nice because I'll tell you what happened. Now, we were even off air you know, with the ultimate guide to UFC for about uh, three months, if I'm not mistaken, uh, because there were Commonwealth Games and there were the other, you know, clashing bigger tournaments that were coming. So there were so many good things that happened. This Diwali is we are back on air with the ultimate guide to UFC, which happened Saturday night at 10.30 p.m. The fight card was great. Uh, it was it was good also because, we, you know, we had a new host that was there with us. We had a lot of conflicting views because uh, Arjun wanted, uh, you know, Islam. He was technically flavoring uh, Islam to win. I was favoring Charles Oliveira to win. The Peter Yan Sean O'Malley fight was so debatable. Our phones kind of exploded. So that was great. And to be really honest, we were looking for uh, Anshul's fight, which was happening on Sunday, which is the next day. Uh, 23rd of October and I was glued to the TV from 5.30 p.m. onwards on Sony Live because it, the fight was supposed to be at 6.45 and I didn't know if it comes episode 1, 2. Uh, I was told it was in episode 2 and when the fight started, it was so... Uh, on, like Honestly, my, my, my hands were sweating just as much as uh, Coach Mike. Uh, <laughs> so Coach Mike is... Uh, the coach that he was training with for this particular fight in Bali, in Indonesia. And we had him flown uh, from Bali uh, all the way up to Abu Dhabi to really corner Anshul uh, through the fight. So it was, it was, it was absolutely fantastic because his opponent, uh, Kim Pio was touted to be the winner in the lightweight division. So when we conceptualize a show way back, and uh, it started off, honestly, Kim Pyo was the fighter that I was told could win the tournament. And it was crazy to know that Anshul has beaten Kim Pyo. Split decision, it was very close. If you see the statistics, a lot of people emailed me, a lot of people wrote to me on Insta, WhatsApp, saying that the statistics showed that Kim Pyo won. So I completely agree. But I'll tell you how the judging works is that there are times where there's a lot of damage done in a particular round and the other two rounds could go to the other fighter. And I guess that's what happened uh, in Kim's case because I think strikes-wise, he was more, takedown-wise, he was more. But also realize that Kim is a traditional grappler wrestler and Anshul had awesome takedown defense. And that really works in the minds of the judges where if a wrestler cannot take down, uh, you know, like if he's not been able to execute his game plan, what he's strong at, it definitely favors the opponent. And to be honest, it favored Anshul really well. I'm very happy with his opponent also that's going to come into the picture because he was a last minute replacement that beat Pawan Man. And now it's going to be an Indonesia versus an India main event for the Road to UFC finals, which I'm uh, assuming what I've been told is going to be in February in Korea. So you mentioned about the scoring, uh, scoring thing. So I, I think Anshul also had more better cage control and he was moving forward more. So uh, yes. that also is taken into consideration by the scoring, right? Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. So what do you think of his, like, what did you think of Anshul's performance? Like he won, that's one history made, but what did you think of his performance inside the case? You already mentioned that the uh, uh, Kimpo was the favorite to the win. So what were your thoughts on Anshul's performance in the fight? Uh, so that's a very good question because uh, it is Kim's second fight in the octagon because he had a first fight. He won that and he came to the semifinals. With Anshul, what happened? He had a walkover in his first fight. So he's never really felt the octagon. He's never felt the lights. He's never felt the pressure. So for his first performance, I think he did very, very well. He kept his nerves. Uh, I felt he was getting a little slow round two onwards. He was gassing out. 
but so was his opponent. So technically, I feel Kim Pyo had the advantage because it's his second fight in the octagon. He's already felt the environment. He knows how it how it feels to be in the UFC octagon uh, for Anshul being the first time. Because I was there with Bharat Kandare way back in 2017, I know how it feels. Uh, I was sweating back in 2017 with Bharat. Uh, I was sweating again this time. You know, my hands were all wet, and I was like, "Oh my god, this is going to be crazy." So I think he did very, very well for the first time, and from here, it's only going to be, uh, you know, upwards for him. To be honest. So apart from the skills that he sh- showed inside the fight, the post fight also he impressed many people. Like he he announced that now see you see India is here. Like it it was it was a moment altogether in the post fight scene as well. So what did you Absolutely. think of Anshul marketing himself or Anshul putting him his name out there rather than just going in there and winning the fight? Well, uh, to be really honest, again a superb question, but that was not planned. You know, that was not planned because we were so focused on the fight. Uh, we never really had the conversation to say that. Oh, once you win, what will you say? So that typically was Anshul unplugged. It was him just being himself, and it was it was a rush that came within him, and he just said something which was there in his mind, and it was beautiful. I mean, I. I spoke to him after. I said that listen, that was awesome. You you did an awesome job, not just with the fight, but with the post fight interview also. Because I do believe, uh, you know, the UFC social media people posted that all over, and you know, I had a word with him, and I told him, listen, he's done a great job. Please post this part, and uh, you know, this is what it means and stuff like that. So uh, it was great. It was great. It just it just kind of fell into place. So now that like Anshul Anshul has uh, got the win, he's in the finals. He's just one step away from getting the UFC contract. How important yes. do you think the final is for Anshul and Indian MMA in general? Well, it is extremely important because you know you never know. You never know what happens in the UFC because the first TUF that ever happened. You know, of course there was a fighter that won and a fighter that lost, but both the fights. Uh, 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 sorry, both the fighters got the contract. So uh, I'm not saying here, you know, both the fighters will get a contract. But what I'm trying to say is, it's very important to be in the finals because right now, uh, grit, determination, and performance will matter. So it just could be an absolute banger. And you know, not to forget that uh, the UFC doesn't have an Indonesian fighter on the roster. it doesn't have an indian fighter on the roster so it's going to be history for the company itself because one of the two countries is definitely going to get a contract and that could open the gates for ufc eventually having uh, a live uh, kind of fight in that particular country and of course you know i will obviously favor our boy and i'm going to say yes we are going to put in all our cash we're going to put all our resources into making this happen and making him win but as i said whatever happens you know good luck to both the fighters uh i have a lot of confidence in anshul winning the tournament primarily because of his uh, composure of his reach of his fighting style his opponent is little bit of a brawler you know uh, but we never know it's a fight you know so we're going to prepare even harder uh, even better for the finals Uh, speaking of Anshul's opponent Jaka, he he has been uh, impressive so far. Like both the fights yeah. that he fought, he has been impressive. Last fight he got a knockout. So, how much of a threat do you think he is for Anshul uh, in the finals? Uh, see, the fact that he's reached here, you know, he was a last minute replacement. Uh, he beat Pawan Man quite convincingly. Uh, because he was so aggressive. See, Pawan is a great fighter. but i think he kind of felt the pressure of the big lights and the fight was going great it was absolutely fine till the spinning back fist came into the picture you know so i think pavan was doing really really well but i just think uh, jeka was little more aggressive since he was a last minute replacement he was maybe hungrier in both his fights and hence he's in the finals i feel we do uh, have a game plan to tackle it but again it's too early to think about game plan because we just you know we still have a few months before we get there but uh, when it comes to reach when it comes to composure i think anshul has the uh, has the upper upper hand here awesome so uh, 
wh- what does the future look like for uh, india uh, as per from a perspective of the ufc like this was one one part of the plan like road to ufc was one part of the plan so if anshul right. wins or even if anshul yeah. does not win like what does the future look like for uh, ufc uh, when it comes to india uh so according to me i mean whatever conversations that i've had i don't think the ufc are looking at india as a market for live shows just yet our aim always in the last few years has been to build that one or two indian fighters that can compete at that level before they can invest money time and resources into this market because i'll be very honest that we need to we need to have talent that can perform at that level and when road to ufc was finally announced officially there were a lot of people that really wrote to me and said you know that i'm the one for it and i'll do this and i'll do that but i love the enthusiasm i keep saying it i love the enthusiasm but trust me i've been doing this with this company for almost 7 8 years now and after you hang with a certain level of athletes you can you can really understand that what makes a good fighter and what doesn't make a good fighter and when i say good fighter i mean ufc caliber leveled fighters and i do feel anshul jubli has all the characteristics to get in there and perform another fighter which i really pushed for very very hard was roshan mainam and that is that is one guy who i feel has all the tools it takes to get to the finals in uh, the road to ufc sadly it could not happen because on this side of the world when everybody are a little lighter and smaller in size the 125 135 divisions were stacked we had like 25 excellent prospects and we had to select eight of them and sadly roshan could not make it but post this uh, you know in fact i had a word with sean shelby also and i you know voiced out my you know pleasure as to how this is going to shape up and he was very open about it that yes we are definitely going to do it so just keep your eyes and ears open you know let's let's keep our conversations going and you know we we'll, we'll see what happens so i don't know whether road to ufc will happen again which i think it's going to happen again in 2023 but the dana white contender series is open we can do a lot of things so how many fighters are we looking at like for this uh, road to ufc we had like three fighters in contention and the two two got into the uh, bracket so uh, if you speak about dana white contender series uh, for the next 5 years the next 5 years how many fighters do you think will be able to crack that platform or maybe even the ufc platform once uh, anshul uh, chapter moves on uh, so if i so i have a plan that is made for india and right now it started with the road to ufc and mick me naran shon shelby were extremely accommodating in getting this uh, to happen so i can talk about 2023 i would like to test out at least 5 to 7 indian fighters on various platforms either if the road to ufc happens or the dana white contender series either or uh, i would like to test at least 5 or 7 indian fighters and you know plug them in these segments and see as to how they do so lastly uh, from the perspective of the ufc uh, what's the ufc look for uh, in a fighter from india like it's not about the sk- it's not just about the skill it's definitely about 90% 99% 95% of the skill but you also need that 5% of uh, marketing and stuff also so is that how the ufc thinks when they are looking into a fighter or is it just the skill based thing that the company is looking into uh great question so you know it's like saying you know that yes you are going for a wedding but do you want to look smashing or do you want to look fine yes you're going to go for the wedding but you know it is important to be smashing uh so no to be honest the ufc only look at a uh, skill set and performance to begin with now if the fighter himself or herself can leverage the platform uh into getting the crowd behind them then that's an added plus point but as an organization we don't look at that we look at the ability to win and win in a spectacular fashion that is rule number 1 for us uh but again you know if the if the fighter has a good mouth and he or she can back it up with performance that's just uh what we call you know the cherry on the cake so before we close like what message or ma- what uh, code do you want to add on regarding anshul's performance the future of uh, india in ufc or the upcoming final well i would 
normally what happens in a fight camp to be really honest we keep it very close circuit we don't want too many you know external views to come in we don't want too many you know external pressures to come in so the circuit that we maintain are very close by but as even kantaraj agasa said you know uh, guys do understand there's a lot of you know emotions attached when you have an indian guy in the ufc you know it's like it's like kenya playing the world cup for the first time you know i would i would just request you guys to support your boy and uh, you know and honestly if you don't support him don't it's fine you don't need to abuse them and do all of that you know so just you know just support our boy because we put in a lot of time effort money into building athletes and it's a very expensive sport you know going to bali staying there for two months maintaining your diet constantly being in the grind uh, you know it's it's a very expensive sport and there's a lot that goes behind it now for the first time in this interview i will say anshul went into the fight with an injury but we didn't disclose it to anyone and uh, he clearly said that you know i'm not going to make excuses i'm going to land up there he had a broken toe let me tell you that he had a broken toe which happened uh, two weeks before the fight uh, you know and we took a joint call and said that we aren't going to pull out uh, you know we're going to take the the legal medication that is allowed you know and we're going to go in there and put on a performance of our life so you know i would just i would just request you guys to believe in us believe in the fighters believe in the management believe in me because i'm i'm looking at guys you know i'm looking at guys so let's let's just do it together and the only way we can do it is if we stick as a unit and stay as a unit uh you know suggestions are always welcome but let's be a unit let's do this together we had the first indian victory in the un and i'm telling you the finals are going to be an absolute banger uh hopefully we can do this again on a larger scale with indian fighters but if we have the crowd be an our guy trust me i will have the go ahead i will have the green signal to do a lot of things in india for the ufc